goats have a bad rap of people think that they're going to eat everything and chew on their clothes and eat tin cans, but goats are very picky eaters and they make great pets. 34 years ago when Debbie and I got married, I had two horses. All of a sudden we had 10 horses and about 25 goats because Deb loved the goats. I saw them at uh, a swap meet and had to have one and one led to many. Every time I left the house, I brought back another goat. Come on guys. We have the Nigerian Dwarf, which is a miniature milk goat. And we also have the African Pygmy Goat, which is more for show or for pet. The Nigerians make good pets too, but most people want Nigerians for milking. The Nigerians come in a lot of different colors, more so than the Pygmies do, and they also have blue eyes, which Pygmies don't. A pygmy goat at full grown is between 50 to 70 pounds. Lifespan on a goat is, uh, as long as you take good care of it, it's a, like a, a dog, about 12 to 15 years. There have been goats that have lived a lot longer. When we sell a, a goat to a person, we usually recommend that they get them in pairs because they are herd animals. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Gotta make sure you don't go through the other side, mm -hmm. which I think I just did. Okay. So she's letting us know that, so that we're okay. giving them the Goats are considered livestock, so um, they need to be zoned for livestock, although a lot of cities are starting to allow miniature goats. A any potential buyer, should check with their city on for the ordinances or the animal control to make sure that they don't get this goat home and fall in love with it and all of a sudden someone knocks on their door and says, hey, you've got to get rid of it. Okay.